What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to find volumes of similar cones, all right? So as you can see, we have two cones right here, cone A and cone B. The little cone, cone A, we're given the length of the diameter, which is eight feet. And we're also given the volume, which is 32 pi feet cubed. And for the big cone, cone B, we're given the diameter as well as 16 feet, but we don't know the volume, right? So that's what we're trying to find in this problem, right? Trying to find the volume of cone B. So the first thing you wanna do is find the scale factor, and that is denoted by the variable K, right? So the, K, the scale factor K is gonna be equal to a fraction. Now what goes in your fraction here is just a comparison of two similar dimensions. So for instance, we can compare two similar dimensions here, right? Because we know the diameter of cone B, so we know the diameter I'll just abbreviate it, of cone B, and we can compare that to the diameter of cone A, since we also have that dimension, right? So we're gonna compare it to the diameter of cone A. Now here, it doesn't matter which one goes on top and which one goes on the bottom. We could put A on top and B on the bottom, but generally, I like to put the bigger solid or the bigger shape on top, right? So since B is bigger, I'm gonna put it on top. So here, let's plug this in. So what is the, it looks like diabetes, but what is the diameter of B? Well, it's 16. So we'll put a 16 there. And what is the diameter of A? Well, that's eight, All right? 16 divided by eight is equal to two. So our scale factor K is equal to two, All right? Now, once you find your scale factor, now we're gonna compare the volumes. So first, we're going to say that the volume of cone B over the volume of cone A is equal to K cubed, all right? Couple things here. As you can see, I put the volume of cone B on top and A on the bottom. The reason I did that is because you need to keep it consistent with how you found your scale factor K. So since we put B on top and A on the bottom, you wanna keep B on top and A on the bottom, okay? And then the other thing is just setting this little comparison between the volumes equal to K cubed, all right? Great, so now that we have our formula set up, let's just plug in what we know. So first of all, we don't know the volume of cone B, so we're gonna leave that as the volume of cone B, and that's gonna go over the volume of cone A, which we do know, right? It's 32 pi feet cubed, and again, you're gonna set that equal to K cubed, which in this case, remember K is equal to two, right? So here we're gonna have two cubed, right? So two cubed, and then if we simplify this, two cubed is equal to eight, right? So let's just skip ahead and just say that's equal to eight, all right? And I'm gonna scoot this over a little bit, just so we have a little extra room to work here. Now we're trying to solve for the volume of B, so the first thing we have to do is get rid of this 32 pi, and we can do that by multiplying both sides by 32 pi, and on this side as well. So on this side, the 32 pi's cancel each other out, so they kill each other, and all we're left with is the volume of B is equal to eight times 32 pi, and eight times 32 is equal to 256. So here we have 256 pi, and that's a lot of pi's. So if you plug this into your calculator, 256 times pi, you'll get that this is equal to approximately 804.2, we're gonna say eight. And our units, don't forget, are feet cubed, right? Feet, stinky feet cubed, boom. So if you found the video helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below.